All right, here we are. Next stop, it's gonna be a bit of a freeway stretch. Navigate to Pleasant Prairie Supercharger. <clears throat> Let's see, and it's showing me everything but Pleasant Prairie Supercharger. It used to just take me straight to it. It's one of the last ones on the list. Okay, add in then. This is a 30 minute drive. 28 minutes apparently from here, 30 minutes from home, because we're going to hop the freeway. Okay. Wow, look at that visualization lay. Look at everything it shows. People walking. Okay, it won't let me activate full self-drive yet. Wait a minute. All right, now it will let me. Wanted me out of the parking space first. All right, fair enough. I still think Tesla needs to add at least two more cameras to the front. Okay, no, 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 no. We're not doing 30 miles an hour on a right turn there. All right, intervention. Tesla's got to work on the speed in parking lots. That was... No, why are we going right? We don't want to go right. Okay, another fail. We need to go this way. Why? Why? And if you see um, on the dash view, um, things go fuzzy. That is not the camera going fuzzy, except during you know high vibration, you know lots of rough roads. Um, the more confident in what it sees, the clearer the picture is what I'm deducing here. So when when the dash is real clear, sharp lines. That's, that means the, uh, the, the computer is very confident on what it's seeing. When it's fuzzy, it has a rough idea. Think of it like looking through, uh, looking through some uh, foggy, foggy lens or a foggy window kind of thing. No, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. There's a semi coming. And I notice because of the lack of side-facing cameras straight out to the left and right, the car likes to angle itself just a little bit to give the uh, the marker cameras and the pillar cameras a better view of cross traffic. Not yet. After this blue car coming past, it is now 100% clear. Okay, car made a good decision. What have we got there? I don't even know it can beep beep, but the message disappeared so quick, I, I don't even know what it was. Maybe if I can check notifications. Let's see, service, notifications, no alerts. Okay, no idea what that was then. Popcorn in the mouth, not on the car. Thank you. Now we should be changing lanes. Very good lane change, although it did not use its turn signal this time. Let's see if it'll do it this time, though. That should have been a turn signal active. There's lots of confidence in what it's seeing. Okay. Okay, I'm... I took over because it was going to pull out in front of traffic. No, that was a fail. See, this is why you can't trust full self-drive battery at 100%. Okay. Activate again. That was a no-brainer that traffic was coming. Now, the other side that came had just gotten a green light. funeral procession on the other side. Now it should be moving over to the left lane soon.
stoplight, but we should be in the left lane already. Unramp is coming up quick. Oh, there's the McDonald's where I, I play the Easter Bunny for the preschoolers. Bye. Bunny! Yes! Bunny school. actually have to take over to get it to the freeway here. Judging by the blue line, it doesn't know where it has to go to get on the freeway. Yeah. Alright, I have to take over, otherwise we're going to miss our on -road. guys can see we were two lanes over although the lane on to our right would have been acceptable okay, okay it's not giving us a high enough speed we should be max okay now it just set max speed at 60 which is Still not correct, because the speed limit is 70. Now it just went up to 75, so 5 over. Did not turn signal. The car did not signal that it was merging into the lane. That's not good. throw that this video out considering that that freeway drive was just regular autopilot but I think it's good to state right now off right off the bat why are we not see it's hesitating on the lane change again yeah, part way reverse part way, and then went I think this is good to know so people don't hop on the freeway thinking the car is going to do the driving and then it does nothing at all. Huh. I'm going to have to reread all the documentation. I don't remember seeing anything about that. So it looks like it hands off to navigate on autopilot once you're on the freeway. It takes over for full self-drive once you're off the freeway. So as soon as we stop, I will put navigate on autopilot back on. No, full self-drive is going to play it safe here. If I was driving, I would have already squeezed the car through that gap. A little shaky, but it did it. 
given us an alpha. We're going three alphas. Beautiful cars. Extremely unreliable. You're lucky to make it off the dealer's lot before the transmission goes or to snap a timing belt. So, I'll state again. You see the new gates they just put up to close at night. I'll state again. Navigate to UG. Let's see if it'll bring us through the parking lot. Connection error. Navigate to UG. I'll just do it manually. Okay, apparently the car says it's offline. And that would be correct. It sees no cellular bars. Interesting. Try again. Oh, no. No results. Alright, well, I'm going to cut the cameras now, drop Lele off, and then go supercharge. What the hell are you doing? Okay, yeah, no. FSD in parking lots. Uh uh. Nope. Amazing, yet still does need a lot of work. Be vigilant. Don't, as they say, don't get complacent in its driving. Enjoy the ride. Part two will be following this video. Bye-bye.